Okay, we're doing a seventh edition first game. We're gonna do some t some hot Tyranid upon Tyranid action just to get the rules down. So this is my force. Uh, HQ is a uh, prime with Lash Rip, Bone Sword, uh, Death Spitter, some Biovores, Venoms, Carnifex, Vanilla, two Zoans, um, Min Squad of Warriors, and then two squads of 20 of Termagants, and a Harpy. So that's Tyranid side. Greg, let's go take a look at Tyranid side. All right, Chris, walk us through what you got. Uh, so we have a flying DECA Tyrant proxy. Excellent. Uh, we have, as the HQ is the Warlord, we have a Turvagon HQ, a Turvagon Troops. 20 Hormagons, 30 Termagants, and a Meloc. Outstanding. Okay, and we're doing 1,000 points aside, and we're going to walk through the rule book real slow to make sure that we get the differences between 6th and 7th down, and uh, we'll move on to uh, dicing for side and all that good stuff. Stay tuned. Okay, here's the table. We have rolled Purge the Alien mission with night fighting rules in effect. The night fighting rules have changed a little bit. And we're doing Purge of Alien and Dawn of War with 12 of it. It's Dawn of War, right? Dawn of War deployment, yes. Dawn of War deployment. So 12 inches, long table edge, and roll off. Uh, team Team Greg won the roll off, so I'm choosing to go second. And so Chris is deploying first on his side of the battlefield. Okay, Team Chris is deployed. All the Gaunts and Turbogons yeah, here. <laughs> and Turbogon there, and all the Gaunts. The Hive Tyrant and the Moloch are in reserves. Team Tyranid Greg deployed as such. Carnifex, Warriors, and Prime, Venom Throw, Gaunts, Venom Throw, Bivores, and whatnot. Now we got to roll for Psychic Powers and Warlord Traits. Okay, Psychic Powers all rolled, and Warlord Traits all rolled. We're set to go. Uh, this is top of turn one. I will not seize the initiative, so Chris is going to go. Stay tuned. Okay, top of turn one. This Turvagon moved up, pooped out 12 Gaunts, still going strong. This Turvagon moved up, pooped out 15 Gaunts, still going strong, so doing well. Uh, caused, or cast Onslaught on these guys, so they ran. Shot three times into that Carnifex, doing no wounds. Uh, everyone else ran and ran one inch. Yeah. Uh, so not a whole lot of uh, first Wheaties here, eaten so by like Team Chris Tyranids on the running, but uh, everything moves up and uh, going on to turn bottom of turn one. Okay, yeah, turn bottom of turn one, Tyranid Greg. Uh, these guys moved up, uh, so did these guys, and the warriors ran into the ruin. The Carnifex charged up, more on that soon. Uh, the Venom, the uh, Zoanthropes tried to cast... Uh, warp Blast on the Turvagon, but failed, and tried to cast Dominion on themselves and failed. Um, these Turvagants shot the pooped out Turvagants on the hill away, and these guys shot one guy over there, and then the Biovores shot their spore mine launchers and killed a boatload of Turvagants over there, I think 11 or so. And then the Carnifex, oh the Carnifex. He uh, charged in, made his charge, the Termagants did their overwatch fire and pulled two wounds off of him. And then they failed to wound him in close combat and the Carnifex killed one Termagant in close combat. So they're locked up. Um, and that's turn one. Top turn two. Okay. Top of turn two, a great turn. Hive Tyrant rolled reserves, flew in, is swooping. Um, all the Termagants move forward. Well, first off, this Termagon, or this Turvagon uh, pooped out 11 Gaunts and is still going. This Turvagon pooped out 15, 14 Gaunts and she dried up, so she's all done. They moved up and shot these Termagants that were here. Uh, and then the ones up on the hill moved up, shot killed a few and then charged these guys. This combat resolved with uh, Team Chris losing three, four, and Team Greg losing five. Um, Hive Tyrant uh, shot the crap out of the Biovores, killed two Biovores and put one wound on the other. Um, Turvagons moved up, Gaunts moved up, Hormagant's coming around for a flanking charge on something. And I think that was about it. Oh, Carnifex killed three, three Termagons here, and uh, that is continuing to be a meat grinder. 
Okay, that was top of two. Going to bottom of two. I have a mall lock head. I don't know. This is bottom of three? Bottom, it's only bottom of two. Bottom of two, duder. Okay, bottom of two. All right, uh, Turrigan's moved up and shot at the swooping hive tyrant. They got a hit, uh, but they did not wound, as I recall. Uh, the biovore, the lonely remaining biovore, with one sad wound on him, moved back in the hopes that the hive tyrant does not pay any more attention to him. The zoanthropes uh, failed to cast warp blast on the turbagon, and so uh, moved up along with ran up as along with the. Uh, what the heck you call that thing? Venom throat. This venom throat moved up, and the warriors moved out of the ruins very slowly, shot at a unit of termagants that were there, did poorly with their shooting, then waded into close combat, killed all but one. There was what, 15 in there? Yeah, that was that was murder station right there. Uh, Carnifex, sad, sad Carnifex. Slowly chewing on termagants. <laughs> killed one termagant. Carnifex. Okay, that is the bottom of three. Oh, and the harpy did not come in. Sad harpy. So yeah, team Greg uh, Nid is um, hurting for certain. Um, hoping Mama Termagant number one stops pooping. Okay, top of turn three. Uh, the Moloch came out of uh, Deep Strike, or from Burrowing from Below, killed a couple Termagants, uh, tried to s Deep Strike onto the Zoanthropes and the Venomthrope, but scattered up here, ended up killing a couple of Gaunts. Uh, this Termagant moved over, pooped out 17 Termagants, right Chris? 17! 17, but she's all dried up now, and they shot over here and killed a whole bunch of these dudes. Uh, these gaunts came up and charged the warriors, and so did the Turvagon. Um, and in a surprising turn of events, it was a total cripple fight, and <laughs> there were only a few wounds dealt and all armor saves saved, so no, no models removed there. Um, and another shocking turn of events, the sad, sad Carnifex killed one Termagant. Right now he's got Termagants uh, shish kebab on all of his siding towns, and the Hormagants continue to run up. High Tyrant here shot the Venom Throat that was here, uh, and he's all dead now. And he Vector struck, he flew over from that position, and Vector struck the Biovor and killed him. So things are looking grim for Team Greg Tyranid, but we're going to see if we can rally here. Bottom of turn three, coming up. Okay, bottom of turn three, done. Essentially, the Termagants that were here charged up. That Moloch was actually right here, but through close combat, I charged the Termagants and the Zoanthropes into that. Uh, they did no damage, and the Moloch did a hit and run and moved up there. Uh, and then I consolidated this way. Um, the Venom Throat charged into this melee. Uh, the Gaunts killed a few of each other. The Venom Throat killed one or two. That one's still going. This fight over here still going strong. The uh, Warriors killed the single... There was a unit of one Termagant in there, so the Warriors ganged up on that guy and killed him. The Warrior Prime put a wound on the Turvagon. Um, and the Termagants and the Turvagon combined killed one of the Warriors, put a wound on another one. Uh, before even that had happened, the, uh, the Harpy did come on this turn. He flew over the Hormagants, uh, dropped a spore cluster bomb on those guys, killed a bunch of them. Then he shot at the Termagants and Turvagon over here, hoping to do a few wounds over there with his uh, Twin Link Stranglethorn cannon. Really didn't do a whole lot, uh, passed both his cover saves. Um, and again, the Carnifex fight in the middle. Poor little Carnifex, killed one more Shish Kebab Termagant, and that's still going. And that is the bottom of turn three. It's uh, it's looking not so great. We're gonna hopefully wrap up in the next turn. The uh, the psychic phase for the zoanthropes is turning out to be a little bit disappointing. Uh, we'll do a wrap up at the end, but that's uh, not working out so hot for the zoanthropes. Um, this has really turned out to be the battle of the ter termagants. All right, we're gonna head on to top of turn four. Stay tuned. Okay, this was top of four. What happened? These Termagants uh, shot into this Termagant unit, uh, killed uh, nothing on the shooting, but killed three on two on my side and two on his after the assault. This assault continued. 
uh, with the Venom Throat doing no wounds, and my turn against killing one of his, and no wounds in return. The Moloch charged the Venom Throat, the Zoanthropes, excuse me, uh, did one wound on this guy, and the Brain Bugs did nothing in return. The Cripple Fight in the middle continues. Um, the Prime did a, did he do a wound? Uh, yes. I think he did a wound to the Turvagon, right? Yeah. Then, uh, your Turvagon killed one of the warriors in return, uh, and the Termagants did a wound on the... No, the, the Turvagon did a wound on the Prime. Uh, the Turvagon did a wound on the Prime, the Termagants killed one of the warriors. Right. Harpy got grounded by the Flying Hive Tyrant and took some wounds, and the Hormagants charged it and did some wounds. This Okay, bottom of four, uh, we're conceding the game. Victory to Tyranid Chris... Thank you.